In this video, we'll talk about the construction and deconstruction of geometric solids. And what we mean by the construction of a solid means taking a flat piece, think of a plat, flat piece of cardboard and how it is folded up to get into a, a box, uh, which w we would call a geometric solid. So the deconstruction then would be taking that box and cutting it along these edges and unfolding it to get that flat piece of cardboard again. Let's identify some of the terms here. When it's laid out flat, it's called a net. So I've got a couple of nets here that represent what could be folded up to make this cube. And we've got our solids here, um, each of these, the, the cube and the, the triangular prism and the cylinder and the tetrahedron. Okay, so for this net, the, the cube has six faces and our faces are here. So just to talk about some of the terminology. And the edges are here. Here's an edge. So think about what would we have if we took this solid, this cube, and cut it along a number of the edges and then deconstructed it so that we could lay it out flat like this. Well, we would have a net. The net has six faces, just like the, the solid does. Now notice, we've got the, the four faces that roll up and are opposite each other, and then you've got a top and a bottom. So you could say that this would be the top that folds up to the top, and this could fold up to be the bottom. Now, notice that I've got two different set nets here. And that is because it doesn't matter if you fold it from here or from or from uh, here, but the, the the top or the bottom has to be has to be folded up at, at some point. So you can what you can do is maybe move this bottom from here to here, or you could put it there, depending on your manufacturing equipment. That's that's just exactly what what is done. They have to consider. What, what is the best way to, to cut the cardboard, for example, so that they can, it can be folded up into a cube. So that's the basic geometric solid of a, of a cube. How about a triangular prism? And that's over here, a triangular prism. And in this triangular prism, consider this, you've got the edges again. Let's get a, a bright color. You have these, these edges and you're cutting it. And this is one of the nets for this triangular prism, but also think about this. When you fold this up, look at this. This face is connected to this triangle face. The rectangle face is connected to the triangle face. And so what you could do is redraw this as remove this from here and draw it here instead because ultimately it will be connected to this uh, to this triangle. Okay, that's the triangular prism. Let's talk about the cylinder. Now this is this is pretty basic here. You've got the the whole face there that you can just unroll and that's what you get is a rectangle when you unroll that and then you also have a top and a bottom and likewise just like with the with the cube, you can move these around. You could move this top from here to here if you wanted to, and then it could just be folded down. Uh, for that one, consider a, a can, a can of beans, and when you open that up, you can open that lid to the right or to the left or to the front or back, and uh, still it, it remains a lid. You could push it back down uh, to, to maintain that, that cylinder. So this is a cylinder. The last one gets geometry teachers giddy, and that is a tetrahedron. Or you might think of it as a pyramid with a with a triangular base. It rather instead of a rectangular or instead of a square base, it has a triangular base. And these are a couple of nets. You could of course this would be the base here. Think of that as the base, and you could fold up these these uh, faces, this would be face one, two, and three, and you'd have the, the top of the pyramid there. Or you could fold it this way as well, and maybe 
maybe this is the the base here and then you could fold these other sides up like this and when I say base I'm talking about this this bottom of the pyramid and then the the faces here and here and there so there are some construction and deconstruction of geometric solids.